Global school partnerships are an exciting and effective way of providing young people with an understanding and knowledge of the world. Joint curricular work between partner schools and exchange visits widen perspectives and change attitudes and values. Global School Partnerships is an award-winning programme which supports partnerships between schools in the UK and schools in Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean that embed global themes in their curricula. I think any opportunity to find out about how other people live, what goes on in other countries, raises children and young people's aspiration about perhaps what they would like to achieve in their lives. Never have there been better opportunities for embedding uh, school partnerships within the curriculum to bring learning alive, to develop the new statutory aims to the curriculum, successful learners, confident individuals and responsible citizens. I think what's hugely exciting about the Global School Partnerships programme is the way in which it begins and follows through a journey over a number of years. At the start, often it can be direct one-to-one -one contact between a teacher in a country in the UK and a teacher in a school in a developing country. Through the activities they take forward under the GSP, it becomes part of the whole school. It started in the classroom with the children. The children themselves, they have spread the message to their parents. The parents have spread the message into the community. Children are now starting to get serious on their schoolwork and they, they are starting to get serious in the community, taking them away from, from, from things that would have really been problematic to the parents. It's, it's both benefiting in terms of the school environment as well as as the, uh, the community benefiting out of it. Well, I think school partnerships are essential for effective global um, education because it's really the, the core of Curriculum for Excellence in terms of giving children a meaningful context in which to explore all the issues that are around global citizenship. We work together by like sending letters and bringing other teachers over. So, so they can see what we live like and we can see what they live like. I do think that children have the same right and I don't think that we are any different from the children in Juniper Green because I think we do all love about the same things and love the same games. Today we've been learning about the human rights of the world. I thought in Scotland there was apartheid as it was here yeah, in South Africa. I found out that there were there wasn't a party at all. It's about sharing what you have and it may be unequal in that we may be seen to have more here but in terms of our material wealth and what we have as a school in terms of resources but equally Isako had so much to give us in terms of experience and knowledge. I don't think there would be that shared learning if we didn't have that equity. The boys here have more freedom to move about, whereas the girls are very much restricted. So the Global School Partnership Project has given an opportunity to break this barrier and to be more open with the outside world. Uh, my favourite uh, project was the anorexia one. The sustainable living. The Ricketts project. Halloween. The Paddy Conservation of Sri Lanka. The Christmas project. Dated disorders. And faith and food. The creative project. Writing poems. Alright girls, here's all the project work sent from Sri Lanka. I think they're very amazing on how they do them and all the different colours that they use. I think it's different from like just the old curriculum and just the boring one. I think that Global School Partnership Programme projects brings life to the subjects because uh, we do projects uh, based on various fields. It's more like a friendship. It's a bond between two countries with a lot of understanding and sharing. We will continue. I can assure that.
I've been working on this partnership now for six years and it's become a way of life, it's become a way of school life. Global partnership to me is a way of expanding the minds of the pupils you have in the classroom in front of you. You can't solve the world's problems, but you can at least contribute to the educational development of one classroom and one school. When we talk about Martin Luther King or um, even gender, um, gender differences, or, um, well, people from Llanciaghe do stand out. I've always uh, had a very special place in my heart for that school. and uh, I think it's, a, it's a, a great example of how a school that on the surface can seem isolated, how it really is plugged into the world. Young people have got to feel that they are part of this global village that we are creating and that they have friends on the other side of the world. I think it's very difficult to go to war with a country if you have lots of friends in the country. And a lot of these young people who are involved in global school partnerships, some of them are going to be in very important positions in the future. So we want to inspire those people to make friends, not enemies. It's only by people to people exchange that we can foster international peace, harmony and non-violence. Therefore I think it's very important the continuation of this project for the world peace and the world free of violence. It doesn't really take too much to add that simple human touch. Implement some unification from nation to nation. Let us educate to live our Extensive support is available throughout the journey in the form of workshops, funding and advice. All of this combined with over seven years experience makes Global School Partnerships the successful and award-winning programme that it is. The youth have the say, and it is possible that we can see a brighter day. And so we do it. So just step up to it. We can cooperate, and it is possible that we can make the future great. Since DFID began to support the Global School Partnership Programme in 2003, more than 2,000 partnerships have been supported. This equates to around 2.5 million learners in the UK and in the 56 developing countries which is a really large amount of students directly benefiting from the programme. We're hoping that over the next couple of years, the programme will double this amount and reach around 5,000 schools in the UK, which means they will reach approximately 6 million learners.